Hello, good life travelers. Welcome to another episode of Travel Talk Tuesday. Today, you're stuck with Chrissy and I. Good morning, Christina. Good morning. Lovely. I know. We we didn't even plan no, that. You walked in today and I said, oh, that's a nice looking lovely. shirt. Yes. We mesh well together today. And I think it's somewhat appropriate because this week is Bahamas week here at the Good Life Bahama, Travel Company. Mama. So this is kind of like a burning red sun that's yes. warm. Because if you're like us in Ohio, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> and we're but all ready for break. the sun is shining today. I see it is brighter. Window. Thank God. It is a little bit brighter. That kind of helps. Yeah. It does help a lot. It is Bahamas week. So a lot of talk about sunshine, warmer weather, the ocean, mixed drinks. Yes. Uh, so I, those are probably some of your highlights of the Bahamas, right? Yes. Yes. All of the above. <laughs> Love them all. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, our fearless leader, Tamara, is uh, on her way to a safari. So that's probably some warmer weather, I would think. It's some animals and the I great know. migration. I know. What a time to be there. My goodness. Now, I, she was trying to get you to go at the last minute. I know. I almost thought, because you are like our resident animal lover. That I am, and I'd love to go, but I don't. It's a long time to be away. And you know how be snow is. I, I personally think you would struggle because I hear when the, it's the great migration is that some of the animals like they fall oh. and get run over by other animals. Yeah. And it could Whenever be a little... we're watching like an animal show on TV and another animal, an animal goes to eat another animal, which I know is all the circle of life, but I don't need to see it. Um, Brett knows to turn the channel. That and those sad dog commercials in the cages. What are the sad dog commercials? With the Sarah McLaughlin song. Um, yeah. Oh, was it for PETA or something? ASPCA. Yeah. Oh, okay. Those can't be on either. So, yeah. I got a lot of a lot of rules around my house. Weird rules. <laughs> so we should reshift back to why we're here, and okay. that's Bahamas Week. Why are we here? And uh, it's appropriate that it's us because um, Tamara. I don't think Tamara. She's been there, but she doesn't sell the Bahamas necessarily. No. So that's no. more our neck of the woods. So. Yeah. If the Bahamas is calling you, you'd be stuck with us. Yeah. So we're going to talk all about the Bahamas today. Okay. Now, um, the ladies in the office sometimes get a little nervous, uptight about trivia or any of that stuff. So yeah. take a deep breath. There's no trivia today. I just found some interesting facts like a did you know, and I okay. thought we could just go through this. And something I think you might find interesting. Okay. Um, first, in honor of your last name, do you know that it has snowed in the Bahamas? Really? Yeah, back in 1977, oh um, believe it or not, it was a big storm across the East Coast. Florida got it. Bahamas got it. Oh, um, my gosh. And uh, believe it or not, the snow did not stick. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, that would have been cool. Yeah, snowstorm wow. in the Bahamas. Can you imagine? Oh, the you kids were probably going crazy because they probably have never seen snow. In oh, the local kids. Yeah. I was going to say, if you took your family oh, there yeah, on, a no. win on a winter break, vacation, no. and then snow came, I'd be a little ticked yeah. off. No, I would be too. Yeah. Okay. Um, I almost asked how many islands. Bahamas has set over 700 islands. Oh, my gosh. And they said all, all but just about 30 are habit, habited. Habited? Inhabited. inhabited. No, 30 are inhabited. So the rest are habited. Oh. Inhabited, I thought, means... It is, no one's living in. Inhabited, right? Inhabited? Um, inhabited? <laughs> if you're watching... I'm too subconscious to answer any questions that may... Um, this is usually a Tamara thing. Yeah, <laughs> she would know if she was here. Okay, and I, I never knew this, and I feel like I should have, uh, for especially scuba divers and snorkelers. Bahamas is home to the planet's third largest Great Barrier Reef. Yes, I was going to talk a little bit about that today in one of my resorts about great snorkeling. Yes, oh, I, guess it's I know, but it's whatever. It's called oh. the Andros Barrier Reef, and believe it or not, 124 to 190 miles long. Wow, that's. Like, that seems too, it seems off, but, yeah. but so, you know, you hear about, what is it, uh, the Great Barrier Reef yes. out in uh, Australia. Australia, you hear about yeah. Bonaire has, a, you know, the yeah. Eastlands has the big reef down there, so this is the third largest. Wow. In the Bahamas, okay. Interesting. Now, this one, I don't know if you would know. The Lignum Vitae is the national tree. Who? <laughs> <laughs> but when I kind of went back to my Latin days, okay. Lignum Vitae is tree of life. So oh, that makes sense. Okay. And they call it this because this tree has so many uses to help people survive. Okay. The bark is dense. The wood is dense. So it uses a lot of industrial use, home use, all that good stuff. Uh -huh. And then the bark is used for medicinal purposes. It can lower blood pressure. It can treat all this other stuff. There's a laundry list. I didn't write it all. But um, 
you turn it into tea, medicine, all these different uses, usages, and the bark helps you. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Do you know the national bird? Tamara, this would be an honor of Tamara. Flamingo. The flamingo. <laughs> There's over 80,000 flamingos Aww. in uh, the Bahamas. Neat. Where did you send someone at the Flamingo Island? I was there in Aruba at Aruba. the Renaissance. Yes, and I got to visit them too. Remember my photos with them? Oh, your friends, the flamingos. They were so precious. Okay. Yes. Um, now, this is an interesting one. The blue marlin is the mm -hmm. national fish. Do you, do you know how fast the blue marlin can go? Mm -mm. It can go to speeds up to 60 miles an hour. Wow. I think I know what speed. one of those looks like. It has that big yeah. top fin, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 60 miles an hour. Wow. So if you catch one of those, you're good. It's almost like baby Hayden running. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They say the Bahamas is next door to Florida. Yes. So it's only about a two and a half hour boat ride, not a cruise ship, but a boat ride, or 45 to 90 minutes by air. Yep. And a lot of that time is probably just the takeoff and landing. Yep. Yep. So that's the neighbors. Yeah. Miami is an hour and 15 flight to one of my places I have on here. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. No, that's great. Uh, have you noticed? I'm sure you have. There's a scientific reason, though, that the Bahamas waters are so clear and turquoise. Why? I had to write it down. The, first off, the beaches are wider and shallower than normal beaches. Okay. Okay. So that when the sun hits the golden sand, uh, it reflects the colors and specifically this aqua color because of all this clearness yeah. and goldenness. Okay. Nice. The other reason the water is also very clear. It's one of those more clear places. And you can sometimes see up to 200 feet below water. Oh, my. You know, those gla the empty boat, glass boat bottom. Mm-hmm. Glass bottom, Glass bottom boat. boat. Uh, it's a big excursion. Yes. <laughs> and people, because you can see all the yeah. animals and all that stuff, okay? Uh, and I think you'll like this one. The Bahamas, believe it or not, it is a popular Hollywood film site. Really? So a lot of movies have been filmed there. Two of the big ones that I thought you would know yes. is Casino Royale. Yes. And then, of course, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh. Okay. I had no idea. And then I thought we'd end on this because um, I don't know how you would feel about it. I think you like this this idea, and I've actually had clients do this. Um, they're really one of the big things there, excursions, kind of a lot of bucket lists, very touristy kind of things, is that you can make friends with swimming pigs. Yes. What are your thoughts on the swimming pigs? Are you like that or no? Um, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about it, so I don't know. I mean, I'm they live on the island, and you can just... There's this specific chain of island areas called Exuma. Yes. I'm and there's, they say 20 to 25 yeah. pigs. I think it's actually a little bit more from, yeah. from everything I've heard. The biggest and oldest pig, do you know her name? Mm -mm. Big Mama. Big Mama. <laughs> and how old is she? I don't know. That's oh. kind of... <laughs> well, I was just going to say, I mean, if, she, if she's old and, I mean, it must be okay for them. Um, and I hope it's like regulated and... and People take good care of it. Like when Why, you... I think they get fed a lot because oh, I had um, a group, three couples that were on a New Year's Eve cruise with Norwegian and um, they did that excursion. That's not oh. cheap to swim with the pigs. Yeah. Because you got to get a boat over to the Zuma Islands mm -hmm. and then um, then you, you pay, you know, that includes the swimming with the pigs. Now, when they got there, they said the pigs were more chill. They were not, you know, up to all the action. But I've seen pictures and trainings. They're probably full. Where sometimes the pigs are really, yeah. and it's probably based on their hunger. Yeah. So you pay for the food, and then you shove it, you know. And then, like, they try to help you hold them. But a lot of them don't want to be held because they just uh, want to get back to chilling. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about the touching part. I mean, let them just be. I don't know. I mean, I think it would be. I would love to do it. But, um. Yeah, I mean, as long as they're well taken care of. Well, I, I feel like they eat a lot. Yeah. Now, I have to say this, though. You know, sometimes you see these pictures that were taken from it, and they're like beautiful pictures. Yeah. Beautiful people. The yes. pigs are loving it, and yes. it's like gorgeous, all that good stuff. Yes. And then sometimes you see people like, me doing it <laughs> it's not Some quite the as same vibe. yeah not quite as uh classy uh, model like uh, getty images and um shutter shock no. is not buying my picture with the pigs Aww. like um like some of these body beautiful yes, people 
but right. it's different experiences. Okay. I, I don't know whoever thought of swimming with pigs, but it's very popular. Yes, it is very popular. And a lot of I'm people I'm going to talk about that too. Oh, I hope I didn't steal your thunder. You did not. It was a great introduction. Okay. Yeah. So it is Bahamas Week here at the Good Life Travel Company. Uh -huh. All about, you know, I thought we should have queued up, um, what's the Beach Boys song? Jamaica, Aruba. Ooh, I want to take it to Bermuda. Bahama, come on, pretty mama. All right. Key Largo, Montego, baby, why don't we go? See, we don't even need <laughs> sound effects or music because we've got Chrissy. Oh, no, I can take care of that for you. That was beautiful. Thank you. Very, it gets us in the mood for Bahamas Week, okay? So we're going to start with you because okay. you did so well there. Okay. So first, I just want to know your opinion. What do you like about the Bahamas? What, why, why do you think it's uh, appealing? Uh, you know, tell me about your insights on Bahamas. What's well, on your heart about the Bahamas? Well, I think um, we mentioned before, it's a, it's a quick trip. Um, you know, hour and 15 minute flight from Miami. That's um, a quick trip to a paradise. Uh, you mentioned the clear waters, the beautiful uh, beaches. I just think it has a lot to offer for a tropical destination that is really close by. Very good. That sounds... We were talking about this morning. I think a vacation sounds good yeah. for both of us. Some sun, like that sounds a good. A sun on our face. A little vitamin D. D. Yes, good. I almost <laughs> said C, but that's in the mimosa. Okay. Right. So now, do you sell a lot of Bahamas? I mean, is that one of your hot, hot items? or You know... It's funny. I don't sell a lot of the Bahamas. Um, I have sold, they're not typically an all-inclusive island, which is mostly what I sell. Um, I did sell one property that was, it's called the Warwick. Um, and it is an all-inclusive, but not your typical all-inclusive, but it still was a very, is a very nice property. It's near a marina. My guests had a lovely time. Um, but more of what I would sell would be sandals because there are two Wonderful sandals resorts in the Bahamas. Mm, sandals, I, you know, uh, they don't like solo travelers because no. it's for couples. But I still want to go to a sandals resort because yeah. uh, the food is supposed to be so good. The service, yes, they is. look gorgeous. Um, yeah. Everyone seems to be beautiful there. So I think I'd fit right in. I know, right? <laughs> I was at one. Not everyone's beautiful. Oh, not everyone's body beautiful. <laughs> no, like? no, no, no. Okay. Lots of just regular people like us. So, yeah. All right, so tell us about it. Is that okay. what you're going to... Yes. I, I said, tell me your top resorts and where you'd want to send people to Bahamas. So what do, you, what do you got there? Yeah, so I'm going to talk about the two Bahama resorts uh, that are owned by Sandals. The first one is the Royal Bahamian, and that's in Nassau. I had um, some honeymooners go there. Absolutely loved it. It's been recently renovated, oh, nice. so it's nice and fresh. Ten restaurants and eight bars, including three swim-up bars. They also have... Those swim-up bars, um, know, those they don't need ones. heaters in those pools. I know, that's the <laughs> you... gross part. You see the guy who's not gotten off the little bench the or the seat at the swim-up bar all day. And then, yeah. then you realize it's like 4.30. Yeah, and the water's cloudy. <laughs> like, yeah. Where's the day go? But if you, you know, you get there, you have some fun. We did a swim-up bar sandals and it was, people were getting out. In fact, people were thanking people who got it. <laughs> Yeah. You get a gold star for Thank getting out. Thank you so much for getting out of the bathroom and, or getting out of the pool and using the bathroom. <laughs> the neat thing about this um, resort is they have a private island that you can take a water taxi to. It's called Barefoot. Is it Key K? Yeah. I think it's supposed to be pronounced Key, key but it's but, spelled C A Y. Yeah. Um, you take a short water taxi, and on this little island, it's so beautiful. It has. Um, Two secluded beaches, and they have shaded hammocks and private cabanas you can rent. Because remember, remember, sandals is for lovers. Um, and that island also has a pool and a restaurant, a Caribbean restaurant with great food. Uh, hammocks, private beach cabanas, um, and some of the best snorkeling can be found off this little private island in the really? Bahamas. Yes. Is, now, is the snorkeling included? Yes. At Sandals, snorkeling is included. There are a lot of activities that are included at Sandals. Very nice. Yeah. Um, that sounds like worth the trip right there alone, just to go to that island. Right. And you know, as we were talking about a short plane trip to the Bahamas, this resort is only um, less than five minutes away from the airport in Nassau. So you're going to have short plane trip, short uh, transfer from the airport to, to your resort, which gets you in the sun and fun quicker. From snow to sand within yes. four hours. <laughs> and did you know that if you book a butler level room at the Sandals, you your airport transportation can be in a Rolls Royce. That is a dream. I really want to be in a Rolls Royce someday. And if you have a butler level room, 
They have a Mini Cooper, a convertible Mini Cooper that you are allowed to use complimentary to explore the island. Oh, how fun. fun does that sound? Yeah. And they give you routes and places to stop and see, and um, they let you explore the island in the Mini Cooper. Okay, so that sounds like a big jump in inclusions and amenities from regular to butler. Yeah. Is the price a big jump from regular to butler? Well, or is like a medium has jump? three levels, a luxury, a club, and a butler. I personally would not book anybody in the luxury because I think even in club level, you're getting some more inclusions that are well worth it over the luxury. You can get some butler level rooms that are closer to the club level, but of course you can go all out as well. But um, again, Sandals is a $400 deposit and uh, final payment isn't due until 60 days before you leave. So if you want to do a little preparation, you can get it um, booked and uh, for next year and then chip away at it. Especially with tax season coming up. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. A $400 deposit, I think that's great. So that sounds, I like the island thing. That I do too because to it up so it's kind of like two resorts in one. You know, you get to, you have that main resort, but then you get to also take the, and it's like a five minute ride on the water taxi over. Is there like entertainment on that island or? Yes, lots of entertainment, lots of fun. They have theme nights, beach parties. Um, yeah, it, it's just, um, I think it would be a wonderful place for a little romantic getaway. I wonder if anyone ever gets left on that island overnight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, like, I know. That I don't know what time the island stops Susan, running where'd you end up at? I yeah, see yeah. it. The cool thing about sandals <laughs> is, though, their pools are 24 hours, so you can go in the pool whenever you want. Really? Yes. See, it always bummed me the first time I we went to an all-inclusive yeah. because at 7, they were shocking the pools already, and you don't right. want to be in when they're Which shocking I the pools. Yeah, I mean, I get that, and I see that, but no, sandals are 24 hours. You can be nice. floating at two in the morning. They got those know. lights and stuff. Yep, yep. Okay. Okay, and I have one more sandals. It is Sandals Emerald Bay, and this is in Great Exuma. Which oh, we spoke with the about earlier. Yes. So this is a beautiful resort. Lots of um, acres and acres of tropical flowers, plants. Um, but it one of the it has a mile long beachfront. Ooh. One of the biggest selling points to Emerald Bay is the golf. So golf, oh. your greens fees are included at an award-winning Greg Norman Design Emerald Bay Golf Course. So if you have um, some couples where maybe the husbands enjoy golf, even the husband and wife, uh, greens fees are included. You would need to rent your cart and clubs um, if you don't bring your own clubs. And um, it's just, I guess it's an amazing, right on the water, I guess it's an amazing golf course. Okay, so here's my question. You and Brett go on this, this romantic thing. You're not a golfer, I don't believe. Um, I, I are used you, to dabble. Are you okay yes. if he just goes golfing without you? And like, what do you do? A spa or beach? Are uh, you yeah, okay with that? Absolutely. And I would be okay, but I don't think he'd go golfing alone. So I think maybe if we went with another couple and he would maybe go with the husband golfing, would he? Well, oh, no. I see a guest coming up the front stoop. So oh, no. we may have a doorbell soon. Our studio is in our home oh, office gosh. here. So this could be interesting. Oh, this could be interesting. So what should we do? You can't pause. No, can I think we're good. We'll just keep talking about Bahamas. Yes. Uh, and uh, so what else about, I th we should be hearing a doorbell soon. Um, that doesn't mean time's up, but this is a little excitement in the show today without Tamara. Right, right. <laughs> all about the Bahamas. So this is all awkward, but okay. So for my Emerald Bay, a little more, they have 11 restaurants, six bars, there's the bell, including a swim up. They have a half acre large zero entry swimming pool. Oh, wow. Those are the ones where you walk, like you walk into it. Um, or stumble out. Or stumble out, yes. Um, 15 minutes from the airport. And, um, and this is where you can swim with the pigs. Oh, is that included? So, I don't think so. Okay. But uh, all Sandals Resorts have, um, and I can't think of the name because I'm really distracted by the person ringing the doorbell, but they have their own excursion company in the lobby that is um, happy and willing to help you plan your excursions. Wonderful. Yes. Now, is one of those resorts more reasonable than the other, or is one higher because of the golf fees? Are they pretty comparable? Um, or? I think Emerald Bay comes in a little less. Oh. Um, is it just not as reno like newly renovated? Because you said the other one was renovated. No, I just think um, it's a lot smaller. <laughs> There's the bell again. <laughs> I think it's a lot smaller, and um, and I, I don't know the one in Nassau prices up a little prices a little higher. Okay. Yeah. You know, we now say that there. we're an award-winning show, and a lot of people, look at how many people are watching right now, um, but we're still a mom-pop-run production, so we're yeah. not anything high-fancy. 
Um, if you saw our setup, you would know we're, we're a local <laughs> travel agency and we just try to get by. So yeah. thank you for your patience with our doorbells and knockings. Mm -hmm. And to our guest, um, we now have a live audience. So yes. <laughs> thanks for tuning in. Yes. So Chrissy, those sound great. Thank you. The Bahamas? They are great. They're beautiful. Yeah. Wonderful. Makes me excited. Good. Yeah. Uh, we're going to shift to the best way of travel, of course, of course. cruising. Mm -hmm. Now, with cruising, as you all are aware, you're not going to just one port and being done. So yeah. for the Bahamas, these would be a stop or sometimes two on a cruise um, where they'd be your port of calls. Okay. Yeah. I tell a lot of people, if you're going to the Caribbean for anything in the east, Eastern Caribbean, even Central kind of areas, uh, you're probably going to stop a lot of them in the Bahamas. That's a big stop. Yes, it is. Nassau is one of the busiest cruise ports in the Caribbean. You got Freeport, you got um, Bimini, and mm -hmm. uh, many other little island stops. And then uh, a big thing are the cruise cruise lines, private islands. So yes. that's kind of. I want to focus more on that. Although I will say, um, there. These are interesting stops, the, the big ones, the Freeport, Nassau, and Bimini, okay? They have pluses and minuses to each. Some mm -hmm. have more things to do. Some have better excursions to do. Um, this is where I would highly recommend working with a travel agent because yes. um, just as some resort towns that Chrissy sends people to sometimes have advisories, sometimes these cruise ports have advisories. And that's where we would come in saying, hey, this is a great place to go out and explore. This is a place I personally wouldn't go out and explore right. unless you're with a, um, an excursion through the cruise line or one of our third-party companies. So yep. delicately putting it, um, I, or I want to put it delicately, that that's where you work with us and we can yes. kind of help guide you in that, hold your hands and, and give you options. Right. Okay. Um, when you're looking at the, the cruise port itself. Just like personally, I would not tell someone in Cancun to go by themselves uh, wandering around anywhere in Cancun, uh -huh. um, unaccompanied or not knowing where you're going. The same would be true, I would say, in Nass Nassau and Freeport. Um, Bimini's a little different, but I, I wouldn't tell anyone just to go out wandering by yourself. I wouldn't send you mm -hmm. out there by yourself. There's places in the United States I wouldn't send anybody going Chicago. Out, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, yeah, that's how New we... York City, somewhere. Yeah. You know, right. So, again, it's using smart common, common sense, yeah. um, having a plan, going with people. Uh, there's just the, that's where we come in to kind of help you with that yep. so with that being said i want to focus on the private islands because i love the private islands the private islands are so fun and for a lot of my clients they come back and they'll say their favorite port was the private island mm -hmm. so i feel like that's a big sales sales selling point selling point selling point selling Absolutely. point of some of these cruises yeah to, that include stops in the bahamas yes so the resort contemporary style. We've talked about this before. I'm sure you know this. So we're talking about the carnivals, MSC. We're talking about Royal. And we're talking about Norwegian. Those are the big four contemporary resort style ships. Larger ships, plenty to do. Great vacations. It's like one of your little resorts on a boat mm -hmm. um, with even more um, uh, options and stuff like that. Okay. So they've got their private islands. I'm going to look at three of them and I'm going to focus on one of them. First is Half Moon Key, or we say K Key, but it's really Key, but everyone kind of says K because it looks like K, but it's Key, Half Moon Key, and that's owned by Carnival Cruise Corporation. Carnival Cruises, that's one of their, the one that they stop at the most. Uh, there's a couple of their premium ones stop there too. Lots to do there. Um, not overly developed area, um, but it has, uh, has the food options, the drink options, um, the beaches, has excursions, plenty to see and do there. Um, I will say, if we're talking about Carnival, they recently announced a new uh, destination coming, and that's going to be, uh, what is it, Celebration Island, I believe it is. Wow. So they just announced that, and that's going to be mind-blowing experience. I think it's going to rival Royal Caribbean, so it's supposed okay. to be that good and big. So okay. stay tuned for that. Okay. The other big one is, uh, I put Castaway Key, but I, oh, Great Stirrup Key. Typo. Great stirrup key. <laughs> <laughs> That's Norwegian Cruise Lines, um, Bahamas Island. I uh, just had those couples I talked about that did the pigs. They did the great, um, great stirrup key. People love it. Um, it. Some islands are an extension of the ship. Some are not, meaning that the perks you get on board carry over to the island. Right. This one, it does. Your drink package does, your Wi-Fi, nice. all that good stuff. But there's free food. There's also paid options too, but... Big pool area, 
beautiful beaches. Um, there's things to do, zip lining. The big thing here is for people that like the photo opportunities is they have this swing, this wooden thing with two swings that's out in the middle of the water oh, and everyone yeah, loves their that. picture yeah. in that. Um, again, usually it's body beautiful people in a little yeah. bikini swing. <laughs> Me, I'd be cringed, fat rolls hanging out, moves hanging out, and it'd be it would, uh, the pigs would find me because oh, they would smell no. bacon. So, um, oh my gosh! So uh, great syrup key, great place, a lot of fun. People have sent there, love it. Mm. Okay, that sounds amazing. But the one I'm gonna really focus on is um, Royal Caribbean's um, perfect day. We say Coco K because it rhymes. Coco it looks K. like K, but it is a key. But and that's the private app. They spent over $250 million a few years back completely renovating it. Um, it's won all the awards. Yeah. So I don't care what island you're looking at, this this is this is the best. Um, they've even allowed uh, celebrity cruises to some of their cruises to stop there too. So people love it. Mm. Tamara, you know, who knocks yeah. my cruising, even says <laughs> she loved it. She did, I remember. So here's some of the things I just want a couple stats I want to point out. Multiple beaches. So depending on what kind of vibe you're looking for, the family, the sports, the chill, um, there's even the spa, like club level beach. Um, there's a beach for you and adults only new beach, hideaway beach. So Ooh. there's a whole pool area over there, a whole new you area for new adults. Beach, not nude. New. N E W. Okay, this, I just want to see. This clarify. is a family friendly show and a family friendly. I line. just want to clarify because if I heard almost heard nude, then maybe somebody else might have. So new. N E W. Everything's brand new and gorgeous. So lots of beaches. Okay. okay. Here's an interesting thing for you adventure seekers or if you have kids. Uh, there's the Daredevil's Peak, which mm -hmm. is the largest um, water slide in North America. Oh my. 135 feet. Oh my. Here's the thing I tell families, okay? There's good and bad when you arrive at this, this island because the first thing you're going to see is this massive structure with all these water slides. Yeah. Paradise. The downfall is there is an upcharge to go into the water park. So if oh. you have kids, blindfold them and get them to the free area unless you want to pay for the water park. Yeah. Because once you see this water park, oh, how wow. can you not take your... I know you'd fall and have your kids on the water park. Right. <laughs> There are some tricks though. You get a cabana, which you pay extra for, but it, you get one of the ones in the water park that includes free tickets into the water park. So oh. it's a little bit cheaper to get a cabana there with all the per. You know, there's still tricks, and that's why you yeah. use a travel agent. Yeah. Okay, dear double speak. There's also Oasis Lagoon, the largest freshwater pool in the Bahamas. Mm. Now, freshwater. yeah. So celeb um, Carnival's new celebration is gonna one up them on that. But mm. for the time being, Oasis Lagoon. Gorgeous, big. There's DJ. There's swim up areas. Fun. There's there's something for everyone in this huge, massive pool. Okay. I find it hard to to wrap my mind around all that stuff on an island. Yeah. I mean, once you get out of there, you don't realize. I mean, no, but I mean, it just seems just, like thinking about it. It just seems crazy. Like it's an island, and all that stuff is on there. It just blows your mind. Yeah. Okay. They also have the largest uh, wave pool in the Bahamas as well. Do you like wave pools? Um, I don't mind sitting at the back and just, you know, the waves. But you don't go in. in. No. You get knocked on your... I love a good wave pool. Do you really? Oh, I do. I mean, I guess if you're floating towards the back on a inner tube or something, but I don't know, you're near the ocean. Isn't that wavy enough? I don't know. <laughs> but there's no animals in the wave pool. No, <laughs> no jellyfish that no. are going to sting you. No sharks are going to no. eat you. Yeah. So again, that's in the, um, the, the water park. There's an extra charge. Okay? Yeah. There are extra charges on this island, just like there's extra charges on every cruise ship and every cruise line island. Right. But there's also plenty of free stuff there. So you got the little tykes. They have this cool ship splash park, like it looks like a um, uh, like a pirate, pirate ship. ship where they're shooting water cannons. So it is a cool area there. Yeah. There's the lagoon. There's splash zones. Um, there's all the beaches. That's all free and included. There's free food stands around there. Free drink stands if you got the drink stuff. Mm -hmm. um, there's all that. But then, as I mentioned, there's the upcharge. Oh, someone like that thumbs up over my face. Okay. The other thumbs up. Then there is other paid stuff besides the water park. And I just have to share because these are very unique and fun experiences. Okay. Are you, have you ever ziplined? No. Massive zipline. 1,600 feet of zipline that cross that goes over everything. So that would be kind of cool. Okay. okay. Uh, there's the 13 water slides in the water park, which I think. It, the price is comparable to normal water parks. So, okay. okay. 
Um, there is this massive hot air balloon. Uh, what does it hold? Maybe 20 people? That goes just goes up and you can see everything. It's a great shot of everything. Oh, okay. Goes up I think I've seen that. 450 yeah. feet in the air. So it's pretty extreme. Then they have all the normal rentals, the jet skis and all that yeah. kind of fun stuff too. So oh, um sounds wonderful. There is plenty to do on this island. Um I love selling cruises that have stops there because I tell people it's gonna be your favorite day. It's gonna be the perfect day. Um whether you spend a lot or whether you don't, there's just it's fun. That's awesome. I personally think their ships are so cool that they could just take people to that island and you could spend the five days or seven days with the yeah. ship with and so much you there and the island so much. I think that'd be a fun vacation. Yeah. I would do that vacation. Yeah, it'd probably be cheaper for them too. It probably would be too. <laughs> and you get the best of both worlds. You can do that. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. So that's just my, if I ran Royal Caribbean, we would just have no, ships here you do one. One benefit there, um, it is that it's a permanent pier, so there's no tendering. So some of these islands oh, you have to yes. tender in, yeah. um, but this has a permanent concrete pier, so you're good to go. Nice. That's the resort-style contemporary cruise line islands. Then comes the premiums. So this mm -hmm. we're talking about the celebrity, the Virgin Voyages, Holland America, Princess, those premium level that are going to have a little bit more inclusions, a little bit more of an elevated experience, okay? Yeah. These are kind of just starting to get into the private islands business so a lot of them like celebrity doesn't have its own they're hinting that maybe down the road they will but right now they just they just royal their big brother big sister royals is letting them have some of the trips stop okay. there so that's a new thing yeah um the carnival corporation has that half moon k they also have princess half moon key they also have princess key which is another private island that some of um the premium lines go to like princess and helen america okay um there you got all the usual stuff not as developed as Royals Perfect Day with as much not catering to the kids as much. Yeah, well it doesn't have as much it's not as developed. So there's yeah. not as many concrete they haven't spent two hundred fifty million developing. Yeah. So the yeah. Island, the beaches are not as developed, they're a little yeah. bit more not rough, but a little but bit more kind of rustic. Cool too. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's like it's you're more on like an island. Yeah, it's more island like like yeah. that. Perfect, yeah. Celebration the the new um carnival will be one of those big developed ones. Very exciting. Uh, the other big one is Castaway Key. That's Disney's. Yes. Now, they've won a lot of awards, okay? Um, when you go Disney, it's a premium line, so you're going to pay a, a premium price. And that's like that on the ship. It's also like that on the island. So, um, I wanted to feature a couple things uh, on this. They do have an adult-only beach. Okay. I still want to do a Disney cruise just to experience I know, it. I do, too. And I think they have adult-only area, adult areas on the boat, and they also have this on the, the island. Okay. So, I think... People that go adult only like it because yeah. Disney product is good and then they have these options. So yeah. you can experience the Bahamas with Disney. They also have this cool area that's included. It's called Pelican Plunge. You may have, if you've seen anything about this island, it looks like a pirate ship and it's a water slide park thing, but ropes course out in oh. the water, over the water oh. for the kiddos. And this is actually free. Nice. It's included. So um, there's a lot of stuff you can pay for. <laughs> um, a lot of people, they're big. A lot of the pictures, you know those big, they look like a tractor with the big wheels mm -hmm. and you pedal it. That's a big thing to do with the Is Disney it? Island. Yeah, oh. big thing. They also have <laughs> lots of different areas, sports activities, offerings, programmings for the kids. Oh, the big how. thing, too, they have the character characters Aww. that show up there. I need to go. I don't know if Minnie's in a bikini or uh, <laughs> Pluto's in a Speedo, but um, they have all that. It's a great spot for the kiddos. Aww. And adults if you have the adult only area. All right, I'm up for that. The other one I want to feature, I have to feature because you and Tamara would kill me if I didn't. <laughs> Premium level. We're not talking about private island, but we're talking about in the Bahamas on Bimini is the beach club at Bimini with Virgin Voyages. Amazing. I know you love it. I just have a few things to cover and then I'll let you share you your own. You may have seen my photo in it floating in an avocado that was there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're talking two pools, big, massive beach area, mm -hmm. um, an extension of the ship. So your drinks, Wi-Fi, all that good stuff is, is carried over. A great service. Um, wonderful food there on the island there. Um, they also have the, uh, the very popular inflatables party. Um, it's like an adult playground that's an appropriate adult playground. Well, yeah, they blow a whistle and they start playing music and just throwing all kinds of rafts into the pool. It's and, so fun. And squirt guns, too. Yeah. And bubble things. So yeah, it's, it's so fun. It's wholesome. And it's all fun. adults, so it's, it's really cool. Yeah, but it's not like a bad adult party. Like some no, people, no, I think, no. have this image. No. Not that you're saying that, but yeah. some people have this image. I wanted to be clear 
maybe early on I think it had a bad rep, but it kind of leveled it out that it's yeah. not quite like what some people thought it was. Yeah, no. It's not it, debauchery. And yeah, like oh, that. absolutely not. No, it was fun. Just dancing and floating and drinking. The other thing I like about this, this stop is that it's on the same premise as Resort World. So if you are a fan of casinos, yes, we stopped there, there is a casino <laughs> and that the, the trolley stops there too. So yes. you could do one or the other. You could do both and hit both mm -hmm. if you're a big casino gambler. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you always like to see different casinos. Here you're in the Bahamas. And I mean, that's a nice resort that Resorts World where the casino is. Mm -hmm. and they had a nice bar in there and uh, we had a good time in that little stop. I was going to say, any, any observations you want to share about that private beach club in Bimini? Just that... You're right. It's just a carryover from the ship. So amazing food, amazing drinks. The beach, the, the number of chairs at the beach. Oh, my gosh. It just went on and on. Uh, beautiful, clear water. And then at night, if you're there at night, don't they They have like a little night party on the beach and they light these fire pits and fireballs. Yeah, there's these big fire ball yeah. things. Yeah. <laughs> like the like silver. Yeah. So you could be at the beach, go back to your room, you know, nap, shower, whatever, come back and, and spend the evening there. So it's. It's, it was really neat. One thing that I find interesting, and this is not the case, this one that we're highlighting is unique in that it's a separate beach club. It was once owned by Richard Branson, yeah. and they sold it to Resort World. So it's actually not Virgin Voyages' own, but rather they rent it out when the ship's there. Yeah. Okay. So there's other cruise lines that port a Bimini, and that will sometimes be an excursion option. And it's not okay. cheap. So if you think you're going to spend $150, $200 some of these beach club as excursions, yeah. you can pay $150, $200 for a beach club experience on a lot of cruises. Yeah. Um, this one's included. And this one's included. Yeah. Right? Food so, and alcohol too. Very good and food. Lots of fun. Yeah, lots of fun. Very good. Yeah. Okay, so that's kind of the private islands in the Bahamas that mm -hmm. I love, you love, and that mm -hmm. I think really enhance a vacation. So, Absolutely. All this Bahamas talk. I know. At least the sun is out here. Yeah, that's true. It's still cold though. So we're going to pivot. This is the perfect transition from what you just said. It's cold hey. and it's wave season. And wave season is the busiest time to book vacations of the year. Not just for cruises, but resorts too, because it's so cold and miserable. We're all ready for vacation. <laughs> so all the resorts, the cruise lines are all having great promotions. The lowest prices of the year, because everyone raises the prices, right? Yeah. The resorts raise the prices, the cruise line raises the prices. Um, gone are kind of the last minute deals. So yeah. you're going to get the lowest prices. And they're all running wonderful promotions. So, do you have anything to entice us to uh, an all-inclusive resort? Well, I have a couple, and then I have something in general I'd like to say. Oh, oh um, look at you. So, Sunshine Spotlight. You can get up to $400 in savings at select properties through um, one of my uh, travel operators that I work with. So, we can save you up to $400 on your trip. Is that per person or is that a couple? Is total. Oh, nice. Um, and Southwest Vacation. You want to go to Mexico? You can save $200 on a flight and hotel package that's over $1,500. So that's another option for you to uh, plan a little getaway with some sun. But what I was going to say in general, I've gotten some calls for spring break in the past few weeks. This spring break in like next month. <laughs> and... Um, there, you know, it's re there's really nothing available. And if there is something available, it's astronomical. So here's my suggestion. You can book your spring break hotel room now for next year um, with only $50, $50 per person to book it. So a family of four for $200 could book so they have their room in their space for next spring break. And then you get to make payments on that, like we've mentioned in the past, um, up to 45 days before you leave. And then I'll help Not you worry with, about it. Right. And I can help with airfare um, once that becomes available in the next few months, six months. Um, but you can you can lock in that room now uh, for next year so you're not scrambling come February because you want to go somewhere warm. It's and best I, to plan. I feel like a family of four, 200 is doable. I think so too. I mean, that's all you need to put down for almost a year. Um, or about a year, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you'd have all that time to uh, chip away at it and pay it off. Can I ask slash plug this? So if they're going to do that, you could still get them a weekend getaway for spring break this year, like by land, couldn't you? 
Like yeah. find them an Airbnb somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. if they still want to do something this year, yeah, a cruise is going to be very difficult and pricey at this point. So I would say so it's your, a resort. Your best bet's probably a, a land trip. That yeah, you something could domestic. If you want to drive with. somewhere, uh, you just want to get away, have a change of change of change of scenery. Yes, we can do that. But as far as getting away somewhere Caribbean or in the Me or in Mexico in somewhere warm, that's gonna be tough. So let's start planning next year so we don't have to be in the same spot next year. Although if someone wins the lottery, I'm sure you can oh, help yeah. find them the most totally expensive can. place. That's great. That could work. And if money's no object, I'm sure we can work something out. But those good budget but middle average roads, family that wants to get away. It's tough. Yeah, let's start planning now so we uh, so you know you've got your place secured for next year. Now, I have to say this. My uh, sister and her family did Phoenix one year. Like, did Arizona mm -hmm. for a spring break. Is that a good viable option, too? Oh, I, I mean, think, it's warm and yes. there's pools and stuff, right? Yes. I have some people going there at the beginning of May, so it's a little after spring break. But the average temperature at that time is 80, 85. So, I mean, you're still warm. Um, you talked about Airbnbs. You can get a, uh, we got them a house that has a pool. Um, or there's plenty of beautiful resorts in um Scottsdale, Phoenix area that we can send you to, too. All right. Sounds good. Good wave deals there from yeah. Chrissy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, tons of cruise ones, because that's where this whole wave thing started. I'm going to feature two family-friendly and two, two river, okay? Uh, family-friendly, both these can go to, they have options in Bahamas, okay? okay? So uh, Royal Caribbean, we talked about a lot. They're running a great sale, 60% off the second guest. And then kids sale free on certain dates. So if you want to see that perfect day at Coco K, or Key, uh, we can get you a great deal with Royal Caribbean. Um, there's great options on new ships that you're going to spend a little bit more on a premium or older ships that still have great options as well. So some of those older ships have made big enhancements for the families mm -hmm. with the sports zones and all that stuff too. So a lot of good options there. Yeah. The other big one we talk about, sell a lot of this year, Norwegian Cruise Line. They're kind of known for the free at sea, so great drink package, special dining, Wi-Fi, all that good stuff. Um, they have 50% off all cruises. Nice. Wow. Very nice. Very nice, too. So yeah. if you're looking for the yeah. ocean. 50% off is a good deal. Yeah, it is. Uh, then we're looking at rivers. Vikings, uh, you know, we don't talk about Viking a lot because we have a, a number of river cruises that we feature a lot. But Vikings are running a great deal this month. They have the $25 per person deposit. Mm. Um, they also have up to $800 off. And that's looking at rivers or oceans. Wow. And then they have up to free international air. So depending on what trip you're looking, how long, where, they have some great uh, airline. Wow, that's, yeah, that's important. And then one of our favorite Ama waterways on river, having a little bit of an elevated experience there. They have free land packages. So think about doing two or three nights before the cruise that's included in Paris. Wow. Or uh, Amsterdam or some cool places. And they also have, they have an Air Plus package. So that's where you're going to pay a flat fee on the air now um, with the anticipation that prices are going to go up. So yeah. those go anywhere from six to $800, sometimes $900. You pay that now when you book and then you're locked in that price and then um, and then you get the air. You don't have to worry about it going up to twelve, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars $2,000 in the future. Wow. That's so nice. great, uh, great wave season. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So let's pivot. Uh, you got anything new or exciting uh, in your niche or any bookings or anything you want to share? I'm working on another Rocky Mountaineer trip. Oh, um, we just talked about that. Yeah. Train week last Train week. week. Yeah. So um, I'm working with some lovely ladies trying to figure out one that will uh, fit their, their schedule and their time frame. But a wonderful trip from um, Vancouver uh, all the way to Banff and, or Lake Louise. So, and then back. Oh, so, wonderful. I think it's 10 nights, 10 days, 11 wow. nights. So, um, so that's pretty exciting. And then I'm just getting all my spring breakers that are leaving organized. So that's all coming, coming up right now. So, um, just real busy with that. So sounds good. Spring break season. Hard I to did believe. book a wonderful family vacation for the week of, um, Thanksgiving again. There's head air, nonstop air out of Cleveland, uh, $200 deposit per person. So $800, including the air, held that trip, and uh, they're going for the entire week of Thanksgiving. So, Now, I booked cruises at Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and I was just watching a webinar, and um, they talked about holiday cruising, and I think it's the same for you, that there's some people that do those trips every year. Mm -hmm. They love it. They don't have to cook. They just want to go. Mm -hmm. And then there's some people that like to once in a while 
dip their toes in one of those like yeah. that family yeah. or the woman who led the webinar said it was the great Thanksgiving. She said, I couldn't do it every year, but maybe every five years, yeah. take it off and go let someone else yeah. cook. But, um, I'm very intrigued by the Thanksgiving at I sea or in, in paradise, I think would be I too. very intriguing. Yeah. It was, it, it's a, it's a wonderful, they're going to have an amazing time. See, like in our family, I have to set the tables, plural, because there's so many people. And so <coughs> a day, a Thanksgiving off might be nice. I don't that, know if I yeah, can convince my whole family. I don't know if I can convince my whole family. I know. I don't know if I could either, but I, you know, I would like it. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, so I, as I mentioned in the office, I talk here, groups are a big thing. So I'm working on uh, booking a lot of people into our Hawaii group, which is in December 2024. Um, it's getting more popular, so uh, low deposit, and uh, it comes out to right about um, three hundred fifty dollar deposit, and that cover that gives you a five hundred dollar deposit, so you're actually saving hundred fifty. But um, and then you have till October to pay that off. But that's a very popular way to see Hawaii, mm -hmm. and I just have a hunch our group may fill up because uh, some of the rowdy people are signing up now, and I think it's going to be a little bit fun. Okay. And how many days is that? It's a week oh, it's long a week, in Hawaii. Yeah. Um, most people go day two, three ahead of time because mm -hmm. you want to see the, um, you know, Pearl Harbor and all that good stuff. Yeah. So I'm hoping I get to go to be a chaperone. So I'm really, you know, <laughs> we want people to go, come along so I can go a chaperone because I think that would be well, a fun trip. Why you have a New Year's Eve one? I do have a New Year's Eve one. Oh. But that's on Virgin Voyages. That's New Year's Eve. This this is early December. Oh, okay. Yeah, before Christmas. So okay. one of the ladies that signed up said, that's usually when I do my Christmas shopping. I said, listen, my mom's done with her Christmas shopping by Thanksgiving. <laughs> so do it early. Enjoy the first part of December on a cruise in Hawaii. Oh and then come back and just celebrate the holidays. That's right. <clears throat> okay, so that's, that's a big lovely. one. Lovely. Um, uh, working with a private group, uh, we talked about organizations doing a group. The, the local yacht club's doing a cruise, so working a lot of people booking into that. And then Alaska, 2025. So we have group space people are looking at, but then we can also do a custom trip apart from our groups as well. So I have a couple looking at doing five days free on the land and then doing um, a cruise. And it looks wonderful. And I told them, I was talking on the phone last night with them how jealous I am because it looks <laughs> wonderful. So um, nice. now is not a bad time to look at Alaska 25 because you're locking in 24 prices, the promotions. Right. And they are going to fill up. And if you want the best side of the ship for when you're when you're cruising, so now's the time to, to put those deposits down. That's right. Well, that's all I have. Do you have anything else? No. Any other Bahama information? I do not. Well, we certainly want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, if you are interested in any of these Bahamian trips, Bahamian, Bahamian trips, or uh, any of the trips we talked about, if you have something else on your mind that you want to go for vacation, we would love to help get you there and help you to experience the good life while traveling. So thank you, everyone, for thank watching. Uh, connect with us, and we will help you to experience that good life on your next trip. We'll see you later, everyone. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye.